Hello and welcome to your favorite social diary show. This is Plus Events on Plus TV Africa. This week's episode is an emotional one as it is mostly a celebration of life. First is the funeral service of Reverend Adilike Kayodi Adifokwe. Reverend Adelike Kayode Adefokwe was laid to rest on Tuesday, February 16, 2021. He is survived by his wife, siblings, children and grandchildren. A service of songs was held at his residence. Thank you for joining us. I would like to officially welcome you to the service of songs for our dear Reverend Adeleke Adefokwe. We're here to honor him, his memory, with songs and worship. At this point, we would invite the choir members to join us. We sing a song in the sanctuary. We sing a song to give you the glory. We sing a song to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our day. At this point, we would like to take testimonies and tributes. I would like to invite a member of Old Boys. He was an extremely good man to me. Uh, he, has, he played a lot of parts in my life, which I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just pray that God will rest his soul in perfect place. Even though I'm older than Lakey, but when we talk, Leke is very deep. He will talk to you about life. He will advise you at every point. There is no topic you want to discuss that Leke will not know anything about. I would like to invite Uncle Leke's youngest daughter, Demilade, to share some words about her father. Please give her a round of applause. Anyone who knows me knows that I can't face a crowd for anything, but this is my father. I mean, I have to say something. <laughs> okay. As Reverend Nakiade just said, he, was a, he is and was a man full of life, full of passion, full of life. I just want to summarize how or the kind of man he was. Okay. Like then, whenever I used to do something to my mom, when I, whenever I was stubborn or anything and then my mom would beat me and then he'd get back from work he would come back from the farm he would see me crying he would be so angry and he would beat me too because he'd say I, I stressed his wife he'd say why did I stress his wife so for that he would beat me so please everyone don't live your life in anger like just try just try may his soul rest in perfect peace Lika was and is my brother Yes, I'm married to his uh, sister, his uh, dear sister. But hey, Ogao, that's how we talk. Ogao is Oga, Oga. 
Licky never for once regarded me as an in-law. He didn't even behave to me like an in-law. He behaved to me like a, a brother. In fact, uh, there's our sister in the audience, Lola, now. Between the two of us, he would always call us collateral in-laws. She's married to his cousin. I'm married to his uh, sister. Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. The Way Keep service was held at the Holy Trinity Church, Mushi, on the 15th of February 2021. We are here because we are celebrating the life of our brother departed, Adeleke Adefope. And we are committing the family to the Lord. And because you are here because of the family, take a brief moment. And pray for the family. Pray for Mrs. Adefope. Pray for her children and grandchildren. Commit them to the Lord at this time. Pray with all your heart. And call upon the Lord to send His mercy and grace, comfort and consolation to wipe their tears and to remember them for good. One particular feature about him is he's very, very caring. I mean, he calls you, asks after you, how are you doing? Not to, just talking to his daughter alone. I mean, he wants a house car, the car didn't call. Phone car didn't phone, Jen Basso, you know, that kind of something. So he's a very, he's a very caring person, basically. And whenever I go to his home, I mean, it makes you feel like you are, you are, you are part of the whole family. So he will definitely be missed. Oh, If anybody knew both of us together, we were always like cat and mouse. But in the end, I was his girlfriend, he was my boyfriend, and nobody knew me that didn't know about him because he was he was a big man. He was full of life, he was he was a lot. He was accommodating, he was loving, he was caring, he was very kind. He will surely be missed. He always called me Michael Jackson. He never called me B, always MJ or Michael Jackson. So every time I would see him, we always had that rapport. And then his voice, if you've ever met my uncle, you know he was a very cheerful person, very bubbly personality. He loved to sing. And his voice always stuck out in the crowd. Like, just during the service, I got a little bit teary-eyed because the choir here is so amazing. And it just took me back to all those times I would hear my uncle sing. And it was just, yeah. And the funeral service took place on February 16, 2021, at the All Saints Anglican Church, Montgomery Street, Yaba, Lagos. It was laid to rest at the Aton Cemetery.
And our God that does not change, who owns tomorrow, will take care of your future. In the name of Jesus. was an emotional event. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace.